In this video, I will teach how to tie the LKR caddis. Materials needed for this fly is a standard dry fly hook, brown thread, fine gold wire for the ribbing, a brown hackle, and the body is a uh, hare's ear mask dubbing, and the wing is elk hair. We're going to start tying the elk hair caddis by putting the thread on the on the hook. What I do is I press the, the thread right up against the shank of the hook, go all, over the top and under, bring this tag end up above so that as I wrap, the thread will line on the tag and slide down. Then I will cut the tag end off and then bring my thread to the bend of the hook. The, the bend of the hook is right where the barb is for a, for a dry fly hook. Now we'll take the gold wire for the ribbing and we'll tie it underneath the shank of the hook. Fold it over so that it'll make it so it doesn't slip out and bring it right to the bend of the hook. Now we'll take some dubbing material, and this is a the uh, hair zero mask fur, and we'll just put very small amount and dub it, twisting in one direction on the shank of the hook. Then we'll take our dubbing material and we'll do what is called a reverse taper build and as we go build up a pretty thick amount at the bend we'll just keep repeating this and we'll go towards the eye of the hook and the body will be at least two-thirds the shank of the hook Take a little more as we build this body. If you have problems uh, putting the dubbing material on, just add a little wax to it. And as you see, we'll went a little too far. Let me just straighten this out. And we'll stop about either two-thirds or uh, three-quarters of the way. Now we'll take our hackle and we'll tie it under the shank of the hook like so and then have the thread catch it. Making sure that's in and we'll cut the stem right off. Now we'll take our hackle pliers, grab the hackle by the tip, and we will wrap the hackle at least two times in the front, and then go towards the bend of the hook, making nice even spirals. Each wrap, try to make it as consistent as possible, even throughout the whole fly. Bring it to the bend of the hook. Then take the wire and wrap once, twice. That'll secure the, the uh, tip Cut that off and then bring the wire 
wrapping it and weaving it, wiggling it in between the hackle feathers, the hackle barbs. And this secures the hackle to the body so that if a fish was to cut it with their teeth, the hackle won't break away from the body, making, making it very durable. And then don't cut the wire, just wiggle it back and forth and it'll break off. Now with uh, a hack, uh, hair stacker, I will put in some hair, elk hair, stack it, take all the tips out, now they're all stacked up, and I'll lay this, I'll measure the elk hair making sure that the tips don't extend past the bend of the hook. I'll hold that in place. With the pinch method, go on the top, pull up, top, pull up, top, pull up. I'll take a third of it, run the thread through. I'll take another thread, third of it, run through. I'll take the rest and I'll tie it ahead right there. I'll hold all the butts straight up take my scissor, run it along and create a head. I, the head is a little too long. So I'll just go back in and trim the head. And I'll take my hackle pliers, I mean not my hackle pliers, my whip finish tool. And give a couple of wraps and trim it off and that is the completed elk hair caddis.